Well, hello, friends and family. Welcome to Jim's In Town Gardening and Bella's Legacy Rabbitry. Beautiful day here in Maine. Um, I think the high is only supposed to be 80 degrees today. And I'm out in the bunny barn. And this video may be a little bit long. Um, been some requests of showing some of the rabbits that I have. Uh, what I'm going to show you today are ones that are for sale. So, today start out with we've got one of Shiloh's boys who was born 815 of last year he's almost a year old and this this handsome guy has been spoken for I don't know how many times a lot of interest in him um, can you hold him yep I can hold him and the people have never showed up to even look at him so um, and he's a sweet boy. Sweet boy. Now, Shiloh is a uh, a white doe. She's Rex. Actually, she is from Layla. Layla is a lavender uh, Rex doe. Um, I had bred her to Buster, who is my New Zealand white buck. Um, and a lot of that was because at the time I didn't have a boy a Rex boy, pure Rex, unrelated, um, and I really wanted babies from her. So, I got Shiloh. Shiloh is a beautiful white doe. Like I said, she's she's cross. Um, big girl. She was bred to a chinchilla looking buck, which I sold back quite a while ago. Um, and I had a whole array of colors. Now, there was this one. Now, he took the Rex. He's got the Rex fur. Um, he was one of the smaller ones of the litter. Um, and if you remember, that was the litter that I, <laughs> Leanne and I bottle fed. Um, so that right there, you know, that, that made these guys calm, being handled so much. But anyways, he's available. Now, I've also got um, two other boys of this litter. Um, now, they're going to be pure white. They took the New Zealand traits. So if you give me just a few minutes, I'll show you them. Are you a sweet boy or what? You a sweet boy or what? Okay, welcome back. So, now I've got one of his brothers. Uh, now, this one took the, uh, the New Zealand. He is starting to shed. Um, so, again, these guys were born August 15th. Um, they were bottle fed babies and you can see he's got some size. I mean, he's not the largest buck that I have, but uh, You know, he's got the size in him. Buster is huge um, Mom is big. Um, I can't remember what her weight is um, She's a large girl. In fact, I've got a litter um, I'll be showing you that that new litter for this year um, now with them I bred to a uh, black otter, um, Rex boy, and I've got mostly, mostly um, more of a browner, uh, brown otter. Um, I do have one uh, gray one in there, a gray otter. Um, now some of them took. Most of them took the Rex. There's a few of them that uh, have the New Zealand fur. Um, sweet babies. Cute, cute, cute babies. Now, like I said, this video may be long. I've got a lot of rabbits to show you. Um, I've got one other brother to this one that I'm going to show you. And then I'll show you... The last one of Fawn's babies that I have. Um, now Fawn is a huge. She's probably my heaviest girl. Um, 
she's a red New Zealand. Um, she was bred to Buster. And I had, this one here is going to be a white. This one took the white, but um, I love the way she's growing. She's got beautiful form. And I'm really surprised that I've had her in some of the swap magazines. And I'm really surprised that she hasn't been spoken for. Nobody's even called on her. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Um, you know, if I was ready to replace some of my girls, she would be one that I'd probably keep because I just like her form and her disposition. She's got beautiful disposition. So, give me a few minutes. Um, he's going to go in an outside cage and I'm going to bring um, his brother. So, I'll be right back. Well, welcome back, friends. So, I've got his other brother, uh, the other boy to this, uh, this litter. Um, he might be, I don't know, half a pound heavier than the other boy. Again, fairly, fairly quiet boy. Um, you know, so if somebody was looking for a pet, and he's starting to shed too. My older boys, every single one of them, my, my breeding boys, every single one of them have been going through a shed here for about two weeks. And it's a heavy shed. Um, and there's a family I've sold a few uh, few rabbits to. Uh, the youngest daughter um, does all kinds of crafts. and So I save them the hair, you know, from the New Zealands, the whites, the grays. Um, oh, there's been a few that have asked me about the way that their rabbits are shedding and this shed for the boys is different than I usually have. I mean, it, it comes off in, in clumps. Um, I mean, it's like they're shedding everything except for just little tiny short hairs and they look terrible. <laughs> um, most of them are almost all through that. Peter, Peter's still shedding pretty hard. Peter's my lavender rex. He's my young boy. So anyways, so out of this litter, uh, litter um, Shiloh's litter, born last year, August 15th, um, I've got the three, I've got the three that look like the New Zealand, then I've got the black one, uh, more brown than black, lightened up, really lightened up this year. Um, I have them available. So next, I'm going to show you my young New Zealand white doe. Uh, that would be again from my red uh, New Zealand doe fawn. Some of you have bought fawn's babies in the past. Um, again, bred to Buster. So this doe is going to be big. She's not going to be a little doe. She's going to be a big doe. And um, personality traits. Fawn is a very very uh, mellow girl, excellent mother, very protective mother. Um, Buster is just a sweetheart. Anybody who's been here, you know, he's one of my pride and joys. I just love working with him. So, I'll be right back. Good boy. Yeah, you are a good boy. Okay, welcome back, friends. So now I got this cutie. This is Fawn's doe. She was born April 18th. And like I said, I'm really surprised that uh, I've got her advertised on two places. I'm really surprised nobody has is, is, uh, jumped on it. Um, you know, you're looking for a foundation doe. This would be, I believe, a great ad. Let me get her on my lap so you can see her. There the girl. That girl. Like I said, her disposition is good. Um, mom and dad are both very quiet. Rabbits. Um, Fawn has thrown some really, really nice uh, breeding stock. Um, some of you have her, her youngsters in the past. Um, 
she's my largest girl. She is somewhere around 13 pounds. Uh, Buster, Buster pretty much regulates. He's down a little bit, and a lot of that's because of the shedding. He wasn't eating really well. Now he's starting to eat. In fact, he's after hay and grain. <laughs> um, but, you know, with me, I like to have rabbits that I can work with. Um, and we have bought some that, <laughs> you know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do anything with. And we got them quieted down. Um, Melania, perfect example. Melania, you reach in to do much. And you would have thought she would have bit your arm off. But, you know, she settled down. Daisy, um, Daisy for the most part is good. I do have to watch her when I put a nest box in. She's very protective of the nest box, very protective of her babies. Um, I've got one left of hers. Um, no, Daisy, the guy that I bought her from said she was like 25%, I believe, uh, California, New Zealand. So she's got 25 Californian in her. I bred her, I bred her to, I have to look. I want to say Buster, and I'm not absolutely positive it was Buster. Um, anyways. Uh, this one kit has a little bit of gray on the ears and a little smudge on the nose. So she she did take that that New Zealand or uh, California trait. So you go girl, you are you go girl. Yeah. So I've got this though. Now I think next I'm going to show you uh, the last Rex dough that I have of. Um, Layla um, and this is sweet lavender um, and again she was bred to um, one of my black otters Jeremiah um, easy sweetie easy I know I know um, and I did get some black otters, this one ended up being the, the gray otter she took after, after mom. Um, so give me just a few minutes and I'll go get her. Well, well, friends. <clears throat> so, here we've got this cutie. And I should have looked. May 8th. This one was born May 8th. And I know right around that time we had quite a few that, uh, that were born. Baby. I used to be able to keep track. I could tell you exact days the babies were born. But not as quick anymore. You're a good baby. You're a baby girl. Oh, let me put her on your lap, in the lap, so you can see her. You put your ears forward. Good baby. Good baby. Um, for those that have never felt the Rex fur, you're in for an experience. It is so nice. You trim your nails. Yeah, I'm gonna trim your nails. So we'll give you a little educational thing too for those who've never trimmed nails before. I know I've sold some and different ones have asked if I would uh, easy honey. Easy, easy. Asked if I would uh, trim the nails. Easy honey. Easy. So this is what I usually do. Now this is probably the first time, I know this is the first time this one's been done. So when I'm doing them, I don't necessarily get right up close to the quick. Because usually I'm trying to do them quick. 
So I'm actually taking about an eighth of an inch off of these. And still there's there's a little bit of room. But baby, you're doing really good for your first time. Yeah. Um there's a young lady that's bought quite a few rabbits. Um lived right here in town. She just moved up into northern Maine and that was one of the things that she wanted to know if I trim her nails. Trim the, the nails of the babies and so yeah. But they moved north and oh easy, easy, easy. It's about uh <laughs> three hour drive, two and a half hour drive maybe. Alright, alright. I got one part to do, honey. I got one part left to do. Uh, if they start struggling when I'm doing it, I let them come right back on all fours and just give them a break. I'm talking and not really paying real close attention. So if somebody was looking for a pet, um, oh, easy, easy, easy. looking for a pet or even a breeder um, in the Rex line, this would be one. Now she's full Rex. Okay, honey. Okay, when you get this part on, you're all done. Um, yeah, do your turn on. There you go. There you go. Um, now again, for those that are looking for breeders, I, uh, you know, I mean, once you've bought a rabbit, you can do what you want. I don't breed my does until they're nine months old. Um, I want the size, I want maturity, you know, inside, outside. Um, I know a lot of people will do it at six months. To me, that's way too early. The boys, I'll start using at six months. Um, but even at eight months, when you're breeding a rabbit at eight months, if you compare it to a human, it would be like a 13-year-old girl. And to me, that's way too early. And I know we could go into all the politics and blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing that. Um, I choose uh, nine months on my younger dose. And I, like I said, I want them to be mature. You know, you can have the size, um, but inside are they... Are they prepared? Are they mentally prepared? Um, and I know you, uh, you can go out into the wild and you can find a breeding, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the other thing is I want the longevity of my rabbits. Um, I want my does to live as long as I can. Um, and the same with the boys. And I don't, I don't breed my girls extensive. Um, in fact, last year I only had one litter from almost every one of my does. Um, a lot of it was the heat, a lot of it was busyness, and the other thing, I didn't have the time to advertise, so I had rabbits that I kept, well, I'm still, you know, I've got uh, Shiloh's litter from last year, three boys, so, you know, those are three cages that I don't have available, um, and the other thing, I don't want to become a bunny manufacturing plant. Um, you know, this is a hobby. I enjoy it. I enjoy spending the time with them. Yeah, sweet baby. I enjoy spending the time with them. Um, and I like helping get, get people started with, with rabbits. Hey, Lily. I've got you on a diet and you're still pretty big. Yeah, you're still pretty big. <laughs> You know, and, and again, I want to apologize for not having videos like I really like. Um, you know, I was hoping to have the two videos on the rabbits a week. Um, more into the garden. It's just the majority of this I do by myself. Now, yes, Leanna helps me. She does the records. Um, she comes out, does the rabbit treats. In fact, um, there's been quite a few evenings that she'll come out and help me with the water and and feed and a lot of that has to do with um, 
with the ministry channel that we're involved in, um, you know, when you've got some teachings at 7 o'clock, um, you know, so that I can be in and, and help support, um, she comes out. So, with the, the things that I'm doing, I, I'm just, I'm strapped for time. And to do the videos, I mean, for me to come out here and do videos, it takes as long as it takes for me to talk about my rabbits or whatever. But then when I go in and to edit the video and then wait for it to upload, you know, it, it's time consuming. And that's an hour, hour and a half that I could be spending on projects, garden, um, you know, so hopefully later on in the fall when things slow down a little bit, um, I can get back to getting active on on uh, sharing, especially with the rabbits, because we've started a lot of people into rabbits, and I want them to, to have a good start, you know, so if I can answer some questions that different ones might be up against, um, so, all right, now I've got, I've got some New Zealands from, uh, Baby's Litter. They'd be New Zealand Whites, um, I'm trying to think how to, how the best way to do that would be. I thought about putting some of the wire out in the, uh, I've got one section, <laughs> I got a mow the back lawn today, um. But I thought maybe putting them on the lawn and, and zap a few pictures and a little bit of a video there. Um, for somebody looking to get into into rabbits, these these does would be good. The bucks would be good. Um, baby is probably my second largest uh, rabbit. Many of you have bought her. In fact, quite a few of have bought the red New Zealands from her when I had ra uh, ra Rusty, uh, excuse me, Rex. Um, he was my red New Zealand um, boy. Um, of course, I don't have him anymore, but big, 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 big rabbits. Now, I bred her to Buster this time. Um, so again, you're going to see some uh, some rabbits that would make some a really good foundation. So I I'm going to have to have Leanna help me in doing this. Um, I'll see if she's busy. Of course, I got to be careful with the heat; she can't be out in the sun. So I'll probably tag this video with that, and possibly. Tuesday, because Monday I'm going to be gone most of the day. Um, Tuesday, I will show you Mandy's babies. Mandy's got some sweet, um, she's a Rex, um, sweet Rex babies. I've also got a litter of all white Rex um, from Angel. Uh, Angel I bred to Eddie, who's another uh, black otter. And I was hoping to get some black otters, and I ended up with all whites all whites and they are cute super sweet so I'll probably do that on Tuesday so be right back with you okay welcome back friends and family so I've got I have got three of baby's baby three of the girls out right now hopefully you can see this the sun's pretty bright and I'm not going to leave them out here too long, only because New Zealand's, that's hard with that, those pink eyes. Let me see. So these guys, and I meant to look on the chart before, whoa, where are you going there, little one? <laughs> um... These guys are approximately nine weeks old. They're either nine or ten weeks old. So, somebody looking for... Uh, somebody looking for breeders. Go with your sisters. Go with your sisters. 
And I'm not going to leave them out on this grass for very long because they, this is their first. And you got to be careful with rabbits. That one's looking for an escape route. <laughs> So, if you give me just a few minutes, I will, I've got two boys that I'll put out, and, uh, and then I will bring Shiloh's second litter out, uh, her litter from this year, knows the cute bunnies. So give me just a few minutes. Second, both of them. Okay, so these are the two boys. And when I uh, when I go out to when I go in to get the other uh, the other rabbits, um, I will look at the date um, when they were born, so somebody interested will know. So, you know, there's uh, somebody looking for future breeding stock. There's three girls and there's two boys. Now, also, what I'm going to do. In the description box, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, Craigslist uh, ad that I'm going to be putting on and also another one that I use, Uncle Henry's. Um, that way, if anybody in this area is looking for pricing, um, you'll be able to know. And I'm going to throw a special out there, too. Um, I don't do any of my prices on uh, YouTube, only because it doesn't need to be. Um, but anyways, you know, and if you're not, I know there's a couple people, especially those that have been following, uh, Leanna's and my ministry channel, um, they've been waiting to see some pictures or videos of the rabbits. They enjoy the rabbits, so you got to see some cute bunnies and there's more cute ones to come. So give me just a few minutes. Okay, so these are Shiloh's babies. I'm hoping you're going to see the five of them. These are the girls. Now, she is a cross, um, but she was bred to a Rex boy. Um, and I believe this was uh, um, Jeremiah. Where are you going? And go back out there with your sisters. So normally what I do is you guys are going all over there. Can't keep track of you. Um, normally what I do is my crosses, they they are one price, they'd be the same price as what my uh, my New Zealands are. Uh, Rex I get a little bit more. So you're gonna get Rex ones that look like Rexes for cheaper price. Um, just beautiful, beautiful babies. Like I said in, earlier in this video, if you've never felt the, uh, the Rex fur, you'd be in for a treat. Can't really see what I'm showing there. Beautiful babies. Let me see. Hey, now these guys were born May May 24th babies babies the ones that I showed earlier uh, they were on the 21st I knew that they were close together but couldn't remember the exact okay and then I have one boy and I'll put him in here with him. Oh, easy. He's uh, a grayer color. Hey, babies. You like this, huh? You like this. Oh. You going with your sisters for a few minutes? You just behave yourself. Hmm. So that's the boy. 
babies. Oh, the babies. Yes, good babies. So again, in the description box, um, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, Craigslist ad and also Uncle Henry's. Uncle Henry's is a swap guide that we have here in Maine. Um, it goes New Hampshire, Vermont, Mass, some New York. Um, but anyways, that way you can... You can see other things that I have in there, um, but also um, for those that are serious about any of these, you can see my prices. The babies. Yeah, the babies. I love this one right there. This one and the one over in the corner, and they're hot. It's about 78 degrees, but they've been used to the AC, you know, so they're Actually, this is about the temperature that they're 70 degrees is what I like to keep the barn no warmer than that. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. But this is completely new to them to be out on the, the grass. Now, you notice these are a little more active than the New Zealand's, and the New Zealand's it's because we got bright sun right now, and that's hard on the rise. Hi, baby. You look beautiful. Oh, that's a beautiful rabbit. So. <laughs> All right, friends, let me switch this around. <laughs> All right, friends, so I want to thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with us. Um, got to see some cute bunnies. So if anybody in this area is interested, give me a call. Um, like I said, you'll see the, the description. Um, best bet um, instead of email is either text me or hi baby text me or call me um that's the fastest i'm not in the house much to get emails so um that'll be the quickest way friends we love you all thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me god bless you